What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And guys, you, you see the title of the video today, but you know what? I, I want to talk to you about something. Because there was a time that I was very, 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 very butthurt. Okay. The year was 2011. I was attending the UC Berkeley Postback program. And I was driving from Sacramento three times, twice a week, to attend these post medical health science classes to get back into professional school or to get into it. And on the way, I fell in love with this one particular thought. Now, I stopped the show. Uh, you know, I, I had a really good girlfriend. Actually, had two girlfriends at the same time. Um, they were they're both both marriage material. I thought it up. I know. But but this one was fun. Okay, she she was twenty one. She's the one that I paid her phone bill. I, I paid a three hundred dollar phone bill for her. And she she still ended up not giving me no more, no more, no more cooch. But anyways, I, I was really simping over her. I made a video about her and how I simped over her, right? So, you know, I thought I was a, I thought I was a good guy. I was, I was kicking it with her. I would drive down to Concord after getting out of Berkeley. I would, you know, lotion of anchors from the back of the class, and it was it was really good, guys. Um, it's one of the, some of the best uh, quality stuff. Uh, that I ever had, you know, I, I love Jesus now, but it was on a scale of one to 10, it was a 12. Well, anyways, to make a long story short, uh, I'm in the bed with her one night and this guy calls. She's answering the phone, talking about how much she loves the guy. She wants to be with the guy. And I just, I'm there and right after he hung up the phone, I put some more lotion on those ankles and you know I, 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 I waxed it real quick and you know I, I, I was I thought I had the upper hand right until at some point the guy that she was talking about she loved and she was really dealing with that I was still hitting it she she got back with this guy Talk about butt hurt, man! I was furious. I was hot, nigga. I mean, how he gonna take? How he gonna take his thought back from me? Who do he think he is, right? I just couldn't. I, I was, I was pissed, bro. I was so mad. And then I threw some things in her face. Take music. I was like, Yeah, well, that's why yo, that's why you're broke. That's why you ain't got no job. That's why your daddy's a crackhead, you know, and um, and all of that. And, and she told me something that was very profound. She said, "You're really mad, aren't you? You are really mad, huh? You're mad that I don't like you no more. You are really pissed that I don't like you no more." And I, she said, just keep being mad, okay? I'm not even going to block you. Keep keep being mad. You know, that really bothered me. Because she was right. I was mad, and I couldn't do anything about it. I called her out her name, talked about her mom. and everything. She just laughed at me. She never blocked me or anything. I was, I was butthurt, and I was begging for her back. A few days later, she still wouldn't deal with me. But it hurts to get turned down like that. Now, let me just say this. August Alcina. It's going through the same thing. Now the girl I was dealing with was young. She was broke. She had a job. I had a bachelor's degree. I was much, I was doing much better than her. She didn't want me. Now August Alcina is in a similar predicament. He's young. Jada Pinga is at least 95 years old. You're in the prime of your life. Every girl, a lot of girls like you. And the one woman that you like has pretty much said that you were a fling. And that she wouldn't even claim you at first, August. So it makes you 
butt hurt and bitter that a 97 year old woman doesn't want you so instead of dealing with the fact that she doesn't want your ass i mean in august i mean stop the show i mean if you looked at you you're not the most you're not the most manliest guy in the world are you buddy so i mean it's easily why she doesn't want to talk to you anymore you go and you make this song with Rick Ross called Entanglements, a diss track. Spilling all the tea. Because you hit it and she don't like you no more and she don't want to do anything with you no more. So you hit it like 30 years ago and you're still talking about her. Meanwhile, she's not talking about you. She left you go. And you couldn't take her from Will Smith. You're butt hurt. You're sensitive. And you're soft. And you're weak. And you're trash. And the guy took her back. They're doing better than ever. They're making money off of you. And you're bitter. Even though he is simp, you can't hit it again. You can't get it no more. She's done with uh, you. It's over. Get over it. The woman don't want you, nigga. She don't want your ass. But you're trolling her. Shut your mouth. Now what I want to say to you guys. Is something similar to the same thing. I've been dumped before. You know, really I have. Um, e even, even since I've had some money, I've been dumped. It hurts. It always hurts to be dumped. But the thing about me is that if you dump me, I know I'm going to come back with something so thick. The next one that I get is going to be so bad. So chocolate skinned. And depending on how I feel, I might, <laughs> she might be brown, might be a little mulatto. If I feel like, uh, you know, uh, 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 get my, you know, getting, getting my almost, you know, buffoonery on, I'll say that. I can get back. I'm not going to be mad at you for what? I'm not going to be mad at you because you, you stopped talking to me. If I bought you something, you can keep it. It's yours, baby. It's all yours. Okay? It's, 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 it's yours. I'm not mad at you. Do you, boo. God bless you. May God keep you. I hope he keeps you covered with the blood of Jesus. Bye-bye. I'm not going to be sitting around making diss tracks and songs and all of this bitter stuff. I'm a man. I'm a man, okay? I'm not gonna go out there and try to belittle the lady now since since she doesn't um, wanna talk to me anymore. She ain't feeling me no more. That's weak! And a lot of y'all like that. You've been hitting it. Oh, I used to have you like this. You know, I used to do this. Stop, stop, man. The girl don't want you no more right now, okay? She might change her mind, you know. Cause some sisters, will change their mind 30 seconds later they don't want you today all right then you know just 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 stay tight most of you brothers just stay tight they don't want you today okay but they'll want you again tomorrow they'll always come back just don't don't even say anything just be like all right baby it's all good hope everything works out okay she'll come back eight months later when Pookie dumps her and you know and, and, and sandals are up and um and dust is, dust her off. She, she's gonna do that, man. Pookie is once Pookie leaves her alone, she's coming back, bro. Just know that she's coming back. Family, she's coming back, bro. 
All right? Y- your boy O'Shea, your boy O'Shea is telling you, she's coming back. You don't have to be mad. All right? She's coming back. And when she comes back, just know. Just know. It's all good. All right? It's all good. Again, stop being mad at them. All right? Stop being mad at women for being women. You know, some days they like you. Some days they don't like you that much. It's totally okay, bro. It's like take it. You know, sometimes some of you brothers need to just take a, 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 a just just take a chill pill. Just breathe. <laughs> you know, breathe. It'll be all right. Stop crying and breathe. Breathe, guys. That is definitely my time. It's your boy, O'Shea Ju Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Ready to salute you brothers out there. Thank you for all that you guys do. I mean, you guys are just so amazing. Um, not, not, not as amazing as me, which, um, which is true because, uh, I'm quite the amazing guy. Let's just, just be honest. All right. Um, I, I am. But anyways, subscribe at the bell. Check me out on patreon.com backslash nigger manosphere for all my content, guys. Um, thank you for all that you do. I really appreciate all the support. It's one hell of a time doing these shows. I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, as you know, the buffoonery remains on the all time high. I'm your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. We are out. Hey,